Good evening, my friends. This is VJ Franz K. If you have been making electronic music within the last 10 years, you will probably recognize this program. That's right, it's FL Studio. One of my primary recommendations for making electronic music, hip hop, and other、uh, beat oriented music on、uh, a PC. Tonight, the sounds that you are hearing are not coming from FL Studio running on this PC. The sounds that you are hearing, the fat beats, the rich analog style synthesizers, are emerging from. That's right. My iPad. I have in my hands a copy of the beta version of FL Studio Mobile. FL Studio Mobile is sure to become a big player instantly in the iPad music market because not only is it a fast way to sketch out your musical inspirations anywhere and、uh, perform them anywhere you want to go, but there is a full export feature. Which will be unveiled very soon, which allows you to then take your mobile compositions into the full computer version of FL Studio. Basically, use the greater processing power of your、uh, you know, home computer to、uh, master the beats and、uh, complete it for release to your thousands of adoring fans, right? All right, I've got the iPad in the famous. Menta Ray iPad guitar DJ frame. Okay, let's pick out some drums to use in making a beat. See, I'll use the synthetic kit. There we go. All right, then I can go to the drum pads. When they talk about this being a quick way to sketch out a beat for your use, you know, and either.、Uh, Then perform it here. I meant to do that, of course. So let's go ahead and we'll go to the tracks. Now, notice the clap. It's one step off. So we can put it in here. I'll put it in here. Maybe that tempo is a little bit fast. It's sort of becoming a hip hop IDM sort of track. So we'll slow it down. Or we could use the tap tempo. Anyway, here we go. Maybe I need some. Add some extra. I like that sort of beat. That's cool. Now we'll go to the tracks. And、uh, go here. We'll add another track. And、uh, on this one, I'm going to use one of the instruments. We're going to use some loops, you know, because it's always nice to get your drum machines mixed with some live breaks. Wow. Instantly, I happened to pick the perfect break. Isn't that luck? I didn't plan that. But anyway, let's listen to a couple of other ones. Get a variety of different sorts of things. But anyway, I like that jazz funk. So then we can reduce the volume just so it doesn't overpower the rest of my carefully programmed electronic drums. Okay, then we'll go back to tracks here. See how fast it is? It works great. Let's see, we'll add in a piano because I'm going to play a bass line. Then we'll go into synths. Scroll down and see what we have under the 
basses, uh, synth bass, here we go. We get a nice uh, little selection from uh, the Big Brother devices in the uh, PC computer version. And then these will correspond. Alright, that one sounds good. Poison, Dirty Saw. A lot of these synthesizers have really aggressive sounding names, don't they? Alright. Here's a nice feature. We can scroll our keyboard, we can resize it. We can add two keyboards, and notice I have them labeled with the notes too. That can be, that can come in handy. Scroll up this list a little bit on the keyboard. All right, now we're going to select the dirty saw wave we were just using. I'm gonna turn the effects to no effects mode because uh, that synth bass was sort of muddying up in my reverb if you could hear that. Now what I'm going to do is lengthen the sequence so it's a little bit longer and we can do some nice variations on it. So then I'll select my synthetic kit and use the copy measure tool. Copy that break over again. Actually, I'll erase that second bar, and I'll play another bar on the keyboard. I'm gonna add one more track, how about a nice lead? So I'm gonna do another piano here. Go into the instruments and select. Now we have synths, and we also have instruments, which are sampled mostly. So, let's see, we could have an organ. Nice the way the preview button works here. Harp. Maybe a string ensemble. I did like the organ. delay effects to that, shall we? It's the proof of any program if, after only one day of using it, I'm already coming up with sequences that I want to do more with. That's great, you know? That's, uh, like they said, it's the fastest way from your brain to the beats whatever they said. Anyway, we're going to be doing quite a bit more with FL Studio Mobile over the next few days. I just wanted to give you a really quick uh, look to get you interested and uh, post your comments. Tell me what you think, what you'd like to see. This is 100% legitimate beta version of a program that is about to be released on the App Store. So uh, keep your eyes open, and of course uh, you can uh, buy FL Studio, the PC version already, download a demo of it, uh, get familiar, and uh, we're going to be having some great times. This has been VJ Franz K. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe, leave your comments, discussion. If you are about to release an app, your company, synthesizers, and other things that you would like to see reviewed, message me. This is the high-tech lifestyle. We're living it to the fullest. VJ Franz K, signing out for tonight.